there are more than 14 million super funds in Australia, most with exposure to shares, property and other growth investments which shift in value. And with the local share market dropping 10% since its August high, chances are the value of our next egg has been decreased. So should we be worried? To talk us through, I'm joined by Olivia Maragna from Aspire Retire. Olivia, first of all, can you take us through the figures and what it means for Superfund members? Yep. So we've got, uh, most people have some exposure to the international or Australian share market. So our international share market uh, over in the US has dropped by about 7% just in the last, just over a month. Uh, but our Australian or local share market has dropped about 10% since its uh, August highs. So as an example, if you've got about 100,000 invested uh, in the local share market, that would have dropped to around about $90,000. So a reasonable sort of impact for investors. And everyone is impacted differently, aren't they? Yeah, certainly. So I guess that's where knowing where your money is actually invested, particularly from a super fund point of view, is really important. So if you've told your super fund that you're more of a growth investor, so quite an assertive or risk taker from that point of view, it's likely that you've felt uh, quite a lot of that impact. Uh, but if you're more of a, I guess, a conservative investor, it's likely that you've got a lot more cash and fixed interest. Uh, with this impact, you've probably only felt maybe a 2 or 3% a decrease in the value of your superannuation fund. And looking and thinking long term, how will this impact the nest egg? Well, superannuation is never set and forget. So I think it's really important that people are looking at their superannuation fund. So at least annually, you should be taking a look at your superannuation fund, but making sure that you're in that right risk profile uh, based on your life stages as well. So I think the biggest concern for a lot of people are, is my money going to outlive me uh, from that point of view? So if you haven't sort of revisited those longevity calculations in terms of how long your money is going to last, really important to obviously look at what is this impact actually going to, to do on your long term nest egg. Any other advice? on what we should do? Well, I think the important thing is not to panic. So we stay calm during uh, these sort of uh, times as well. But I think the chances of it actually being more volatile over the next 12 to 18 months is going to be more likely. Uh, so don't underestimate the value of having some cash in your superannuation fund to pay for, particularly for retirees, to pay for pensions during these volatile times because you don't want to be forced to, to sell something at a bad position. So have a review of that. If you've got any concerns, obviously call your superannuation fund or your financial advisor. Always great to get your tips. Olivia, thank you very much for joining us in studio. Queensland is watching the number one news hour.